Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Hello and welcome back to Morning Mindset Podcast. I am your host, Paul Markle. Thank you once again for being a part of this show, for sharing it, for listening, for applying it in your life, all those good things. Now, today we're going to talk about something that is, uh, well, actually, it occurred to me kind of by accident (laughs) recently. I was uh, playing my guitar. Now, I'm not a musician by any stretch of the imagination. I own a guitar, and I like to sit down and strum the strings and make some noise, and it's just for me. It's not for anyone else, but I looked at my guitar pick, a pick that I've had for, I don't know, several months, and it had the original company logo or brand on it. And I I looked at that pick and I realized that there was just a tiny, tiny little bit of the original, I can't remember which brand it was, it was a black pick and it had a white logo on it. But the logo is basically gone now. It's worn off. And I realized... And obviously, the the reason that the logo is worn off of the pick is because I've used it because I've had it in my, you know, held in my right hand and I've been using it quite a bunch. And I was also looking at the guitar and I thought, "Mm, I'm probably going to have to replace these strings pretty soon. Now, from a financial standpoint, you might be thinking, oh, I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to replace strings on a guitar because that costs me money. But when you replace them, what does that mean? Well, it means that you've actually been using them, right? Let's think about other aspects in our life, other areas such as fitness, whether it's strength training or cardiovascular training or what have you. How often or how many times have you worn out your workout shoes, your training shoes, your running shoes, your CrossFit shoes, whatever. How often have you worn those things out? If you haven't worn out a pair of running shoes yet, then guess what? That is a really easy, simple indicator uh, that you're not doing what you should be doing, or at least not what you have planned to do. You should actually look at having to buy new running shoes as an achievement. If you have to buy new running shoes or whatever type shoes, athletic shoes, if you have to buy new shoes, that means that you actually use them, that you wore them out because you use them so much that now you need new ones. And again, from a financial standpoint, you're like, oh man, I got to buy new ones. But it actually, from a psychological standpoint, you should be pleased with yourself You should be pleased that you have to replace your running shoes, your training shoes, your workout shoes, because that means that you actually put in enough work to wear those suckers out because they don't wear out by themselves, do they? No, they don't. I was looking at uh, my gym equipment and I was looking at my knee wraps and my wrist wraps and so forth, and I was uh, wondering how soon I would need to replace those wraps. And I thought, man, I don't want to have to replace those wraps because they're not cheap. But the reason I would have to replace them is because I'm using them. Unfortunately, many of us fall into the trap that we decide we're going to start something. doesn't matter what it is, a hobby, a fitness routine, what have you. And we purchase the gear. And then we never use it. And we sell it on eBay or we sell it on Craigslist or we sell it at a yard sale for a greatly reduced price. And it's in great, fantastic condition. Right now, you can go to eBay or Craigslist or what have you, and you could probably find fitness gear. And it'll say, you know, barely used or lightly used or like new condition. And why is it in like new condition? It's in like new condition because the person who originally purchased it, they spent the money and they made a, well, a fragile commitment. They spent the money. They said they were going to do it. They used it once, twice, shoved it under the bed, put it in the closet and forgot about it. We see this with sporting goods gear all the time. How many times have you picked up a set of skis or tennis racket or what have you? 
And it says, like new, used, but like new. And why is it used, but like new? It's used, but like new because, well, we never followed through with our commitment. If you're going to make a commitment to yourself, whether it is to uh, start a new hobby or whether it is to learn a new skill or you're going to get fit or stronger or what have you, you make that commitment. And one of the ways that you can gauge your uh, dedication to that particular commitment is how often do you have to replace that gear? You say, well, Paul, I don't want to spend a bunch of money on on stuff. (laughs) You already spent money on stuff. Why don't you use that stuff, wear that stuff out, wear it out and get new. That is how you know that you have actually made the commitment. So my challenge to you as the new year is approaching, and I know that many of you out there are looking at the calendars and you're looking at a fresh new year, the year 2019, as I speak the words into this microphone, and you may be sitting there thinking, I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to get fit. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to, you know, do whatever. I'm going to start a new hobby, a new recreation. I'm going to learn a new skill. What condition will your shoes be in in March, in April, in May? Will you need new shoes or will your shoes be sitting in the closet in used but like new condition? (laughs) My challenge to you is wear out your shoes. I want you to do it. I want you to wear those things out. I want you to use them so often that they wear out and they have to be replaced. And if you do that, then you know that you are on the right track. All right, folks, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for all of the reviews that you have left over this last year. We're coming up on a year. Next month, it will be one year since we launched the Morning Mindset Podcast. Holy cow, this year has gone fast. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you share this show with someone else. And if you're feeling uh, dedicated or if you're feeling like you want to pick up a coffee mug or a poster or the book, an autographed copy of the Morning Mindset book, then you can go to morningmindsetpodcast.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Paul Markle, and we'll talk to you again real soon. for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.